Hello there, fine YouTube people. I, um, I didn't have enough time to squeeze Lazarus in, but I didn't forget about him. Um, I thought I'd just, uh, kind of try something unscripted. So, look at John. Chapter 11, uh, verse 32 to 43. Mary went to Jesus, and as soon as she saw him, she threw herself at his feet, saying, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. At the sight of her tears, and those of the Jews who had come with her, with her uh, Jesus was greatly distressed, and with a profound sigh, he said, Where have you put him? They said, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept. And the Jews said, See how much he loved him? There, was, there were some who remarked, He opened the eyes of the blind man. Could he not have prevented this man's death? Sighing again, Jesus reached the tomb. It was a cave with a stone to close the opening. Jesus said, Take the stone away. Martha, the dead man's sister, said to him, Lord, by now he will smell. This is the fourth day since he died. Jesus replied, Have I not told you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took the stone away. Jesus then lifted his eyes and said, God, it was a miracle. He didn't stink. Uh, then Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you for hearing my prayer. I myself knew that you hear me always, but I speak for the sake of all these who are standing around me. God, lucky guys, they at least have some evidence. That would really solve a lot of problems today. So they may believe. Let me just shut up and read. Uh, when he said this, he cried out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. And a dead man came out his feet and hands bound with strips of material. What did he do, crawl out? Um, and cloth, a cloth over his face. It sounds dramatic, but it makes no sense when you really think about that. I mean, he's all tied up and everything. I mean, what did he do, levitate, levitate out? Uh, doesn't say. Uh, Jesus said to them, unbind him and let him free. That's pretty amazing. Uh, the amazing part is uh, not even Matthew mentions this. You know, when you know Matthew was a terrible exaggerator. I mean, he's had earthquakes and prophets erupting out of their tombs, you know, and, you know, and testifying, you know, in the streets. And not even any brains, I understand. Uh, and it doesn't appear anywhere else. I mean, in the book of Luke, I mean, we got Mary and Martha again, you know, but they don't mention her brother, but there's this weird parable. Uh, with the only parable character uh, I know of, you know, that has a name. Usually Jesus like, there was this man, and something happened, you know. <laughs> but, I mean, all right, Luke, uh, chapter 16, verse 19... Two, looks like 30. Uh, there was a rich man who used to dress in purple and fine linen and feast magnificently every day. And at the gate there used to be a poor man called Lazarus, covered with sores, who longed to fill himself with what fell from the rich man's table. Even the dogs came and licked his sores. Kind of sounds a little like Job, doesn't it? Now it happened that the poor man died and was carried away by the angels into Abraham's embrace. The rich man also died, and he was buried, but apparently no escort service. Um, in his torment in Hades, God, Greek hell. I mean, I guess they had Greek fire and everything. It's not even proper Judo-Christian hell, you know, where they, whatever. Uh, in his torment in Hades, 
he looked up and saw Abraham a long way off with Lazarus in his embrace. God, you can see what they're doing in heaven from hell. God can see everything everybody's doing. Everybody's peeping on everybody except me. I mean, I'm minding my own business. I mean, whatever. Uh, uh, anyway, you can watch what's going on in heaven from hell and go, God, it sucks to be me. Uh, <laughs> uh, so he cried out, the rich guy, uh, Father Abraham, pity me and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am in agony from these flames. I mean, if you're going to ask something, I mean, what's with this? Just a dewdrop, please. That's all I need. How about, since I'm asking, can you, like, extinguish these horrible flames <laughs> or get me out of here? <laughs> yeah, just a, just a little drop, you know? Fucking parables. They're so dramatic. I prefer Aesop's fables. Uh, Abraham said, My son, remember that during your life you had your fill of good things, just as Lazarus had his fill of bad. Now he is being comforted here while you are in agony. See, after you die, everything balances out. And, and don't worry, if you're being fucked over today, bank later on. You know, laugh now, cry later, and the other way around. So, yeah, I'm not giving any bums any more money then. They get to go to heaven. I mean, they didn't, just, just said he was a poor guy. I mean, he didn't say anything special. I mean, he just long, I guess he did some special stuff that didn't get mentioned that put him in heaven. Anyway, uh, But that is not all. Between us, you, uh, between you, us and you, a great gulf has been fixed to prevent those who want to cross from one side, from our side to yours, and from your side to ours. Why would somebody in heaven even consider wanting to cross? Over well, into hell. I mean, what are they sick of heaven? They want to go to hell. I mean, I guess it's a good thing, you know. I mean, they can't do it, even though they wouldn't. I'm thinking too much. Oh, oh. So he said, "Father, I beg you then to send Lazarus to my father's house." Do you know this guy? All right, whatever. Uh, since I have five brothers, to give them warning that they do not come to this place of torment. Uh, two. Uh, Abraham said, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. The rich man replied, Oh, fucking rich man. I hate those guys. Wait, I'm rich. Short for rich. The, I am the rich man. The rich man replied, Ah, no, Father Abraham, but if someone comes to them from the dead, they will repent. That would probably shift the scales a little. I have still a higher criteria, so I guess that wouldn't work for me either. Abraham said, if someone comes to them from the dead, they will repent. Then Abraham said to him, if they will not listen to either Moses or the prophets, they will not be convinced, even if someone should rise from the dead. See, I guess I'm just not smart enough to figure that out, you know. I mean... Why did he even name, why not just say, there was a poor beggar man, and dogs licked his, his sores. Uh, why name him? You don't, he did, Jesus didn't name anybody in his parables. 
And then there's a story in John that doesn't appear anywhere else that, I mean, if it happened, it should have appeared. Um, all i got to say is, Christians, do not read this book. It's going to fuck you up. It's going to fuck up your faith. Uh, it, it fucked my faith up. Anyway, that's, that's enough. Let's bury Lazarus for now.